Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Friday. So this week we're going to be doing something a little bit new on the channel, and uh, so so yeah, every now and then I, I want to go and uh, show you guys how I do repairs on arcades, whether it's full-size cabinets or monitors or, or uh, games like this one. So this game right here, this is King of Dragons, and this is a Capcom CPS-1 game. Um, these games are a family of games that were made by Capcom in the late 80s, early 90s, and uh, probably the one that you guys know the best is the original Street Fighter II World Warrior or Street Fighter II Championship Edition. So all of those games, they carry uh, some common boards. So they have like what's known as an A board, a B board, and sometimes they have a C board. And so Capcom did this as a way of standardizing um, their, their game platform. And they produced about, I think, like 32 or 33 games with this kind of design. And they were very successful and popular. So this King of Dragons has a problem, so let me go ahead and plug it in and show you guys what it does. Okay, so you can see it boots up, and um, it may or may not show us the logo, it just depends. But yeah, usually that's about as... oh, there we go. So you can see that the logo shows up, but it all looks messed up, and the game doesn't proceed beyond this. And... Uh, so yeah, that's obviously a problem, but um, the issue is related to this battery over here. So what Capcom started doing around this time of the CPS-1 games is they started including a battery that um, supports a RAM chip that's on this C board. And so if that battery dies, the memory that's stored in that chip uh, gets wiped. And without that, the game is unable to run properly. So it basically, the board commits suicide in the common expressions that people use for this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to see about replacing this battery. So we're going to replace it and we're going to use a method to restore the original values in RAM so that we can de-suicide this board and get it operational again. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is an Arduino Uno. So what this is, is basically a microcontroller that you can program to do a wide variety of applications. And this little component here, this is a little hat that goes on top of the microcontroller and it gives you an LCD display and some buttons for, for touch controls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna program this with a script that was written by someone who goes by the name of Arcade Hacker. And basically what they did was develop a method by which you can, um, Ex, you know, change the battery so that you have a, a fresh battery on that board, and then you can program the correct values into RAM so that you can fully restore the functionality of that dead um, arcade game. So, so yeah, what we're going to do now is just assemble this, and so all you really have to do, it's super easy, is just line everything up and get it into place, like so. Okay. There we go, and uh, yeah, that's the assembly. It's not too complicated. And so now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this thing into the computer using USB, and we're going to um, program it with the correct script. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I've downloaded and installed the latest version of the Arduino software, which at the time of this video is 1.8.13. So I'll put links in the description where you can download both the script for this um, Arduino Uno and also where you can download the latest version of the software. So programming the uh, device is very simple. So all you have to do is just, uh, you can see here, I've already programmed it, but um, you just plug it into the computer via USB and you then open up the uh, Arcade Hacker CPS1.ino script. Once that's all done, um, then you need to go into uh, this tools menu over here, and you need to make sure that the software is selecting um, the Arduino Uno as the uh, as the microcontroller board. You can see there's a whole bunch of different boards, um, and we don't want any of these. We want the Arduino Uno because that's what we're using. You also need to tell the software what um, USB port the um, the device is connected to. And so you can see in my particular laptop, it's it's connected up to COM6. This is the USB port that the Arduino is plugged into. So you just gotta make sure you connect that as well. Once all that is finished, then you can see where my, my mouse is up here in the upper left, and you just have to hit verify, and then it'll go through a process of verifying the script, and then you can hit upload, and it will uh, program the Arduino with this code. So that's about it. And then once it's all done, it'll, it'll basically look like this, and I'm just gonna reset this, the hardware really quick. 
So if I if I do that, it'll it'll start with this little load screen, and then I can toggle with uh, these buttons here, and I can pick the game that I want to de-suicide. So the game that we're going to be de-suiciding is this one right here, King of Dragons. So so let's go ahead and um, go through the process of connecting this device to our Capcom game. All right, so I have got everything all wired together, and I'm basically ready to try to program uh, the RAM and get it all set up. So first thing I did was I replaced the battery. So you can see that's the original battery there, and uh, the new battery is on the opposite side of the of the C board, which is what this guy is right here. And uh, so what I've done is I've created a bunch of cables that allow me to connect all three of these devices together. So the first thing is that the, um, the C board needs to get five volts and ground from uh, an additional source. Apparently the Arduino doesn't have enough current to supply power to both itself and the C board. So, um, so what I have is uh, this, this wire right here, this is ground and it actually splits three ways. So ground is connected um, right over here on, on this pin and um, it's also connected right over here on this on this PAL chip. So I removed the chip and this is the ground where for that chip and so I've, I've uh, placed the ground socket in there. So basically ground is going between the B board, the Arduino, and the C board. And so the B board here is going to be supplying 5 volts to uh, the C board. And so what I've done is I have a little wire here and it's going into this specific pin. Uh, this is the 5 volt supply for that PAL chip that I removed and it's going all the way over to to here on the um, on the C board. So that's power. Um, and now the final thing is we need to connect four points on the Arduino to the C board. And so that's what you can see over here. So I have these four uh, pins connected by uh, some DuPont cables. And then they all come in over here on the C board. And I have a photo that kind of illustrates this a little bit better, so I'm going to provide that in the description. But uh, but basically, you just need to follow that schematic, and once you do that, you'll have everything all set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to first power on the B board so that this so that everything gets power. Then we're going to power up the Arduino, and I'm going to do that just by plugging that USB into my computer. And again, that's just like a power source for it, so they both have independent power. And then we're going to use the interface and pick the correct game and and flash the RAM, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's get started with that. Okay, so now's the moment of truth. Um, I'm going to go ahead just really quick and power on the arcade. So the B board now and the C board are getting power. Next thing I'm going to do is take my USB cable and I'm going to get power right here from... Oof, boy, this is precarious. There we go. So now this board, the the Arduino now is getting power. Let's see if I can get the image a little clearer for you guys. There we go. So as you can probably see, I have to now pick which, uh, which game to program. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just go up. And this is King of Dragons. And uh, hopefully that's visible on screen. Let's see if I there we go. So you say it says select a game, King of Dragons. Now I'm going to hit the select button, and here we go. Okay, it says it's done. So now we're going to disconnect this. And we are going to power everything off and try the game again and see what happens. All right, so here's the moment of truth. I, uh, I took all of the cables off. I reattached that PAL chip, which goes right here. And here you can now see the new battery that I had installed before I did the flashing to um, the RAM. So yeah, everything's ready and now's the moment of truth. I'm going to plug it in and let's hope that that's the only problem this game has. Oh yeah, alright, that's great. That's what it's supposed to do. Well, 
Well, that's much more like it. Okay, so it looks like this game is fixed. Um, of course, now I have to actually go ahead and play the game from start to finish to make sure everything's good, but yeah, so far this is looking awesome. All right, so that's one more arcade board that's repaired, and it can go back into a cabinet for people to enjoy. This particular game is going to be at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Long Island, New York. Um, they have about 70 or so arcade cabinets there for people to enjoy, and it's an exhibit that hopefully will be up for a long time. All right, so if you guys like this content, then um, it would be great if I could get a thumbs up, and uh, if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll get notifications of uh, my videos. I put them out every Friday, and uh, yeah, it's definitely great to get your input and see what you guys think in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!